Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the 2021 World's Vlog. It's officially day two here at the Anaheim Convention Center. Today is all about the brown belts and the purple belts. So there's gonna be some stacked divisions, some of, some of the uh, fastest rising stars in Jiu Jitsu. division and the favorites in the absolute just one via submission punched his ticket to the semifinals one of the most stacked divisions in the 2021 worlds is about to kick off i'm talking about the men's brown belt lightweight division Number one ranked Elijah Dorsey out of Team Lord Irving had a great performance last pans where he took gold. But one of the biggest storylines for this division is Cade and Tai Ruotolo have decided to make their comeback in the Gi here at Worlds. We know that they want to help Atos with the team race. Andre Galvao asked them to come back, compete in the Gi for them, and they answered the call. So Cade and Ty are going to be on separate sides of the, the bracket. Cade's gonna go up against Elijah Dorsey in his second round if he makes it there. definitely see the like the five training sessions are kind of paying off for me and they can like, tell you the step behind it. So, yeah, I I'm feeling, weight I'm feeling too. confident in this final, no doubt. I think I can pull some something out of the hat though no matter what. I got <laughs> I got something up the sleeve for this guy. Something he hasn't seen yet. So I don't know. Let's see. Similar. I don't want to lose to be honest. So like I'm gonna I'm just not gonna be like uh, like the OG garage wars where you see us flying all over because I want to beat him, but I'm definitely gonna do everything in my power to, to sub him. I know what he's thinking. He had like a good camp, he's feeling healthy, he had a good run through the comp, I had like a couple tough matches. He thinks he's got it, but I got a couple of things up to sleeve. Watch. <laughs>
I knew I couldn't go 100% the whole time. I wouldn't know where. That's crazy. It looked like I got it, dude. I knew. You know what's funny? The last time we fought, it was the same thing. Like, he's kind of messing me up, and I just latched onto a sub, dude. That break, he was, he was cr literally broken. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then they, like, rolled up on his little nosebleed. Like, I don't know. That's all good, though. Nose, the nose break helped a lot. <laughs> yeah. Came back strong. Old you had something up the sleeve, yeah. <laughs> so lucky. Jump, I'm looking at the score. I'm it's like, what, two me. minutes? I'm up by two. Hey, hey, time. No. Time. Uh, All right, it's finally time for the Brown Belt Absolute to kick off. Sadly, Jansen Gomez will not be competing in the Absolute. He's always one of the favorites. He got promoted to Black Belt on the podium. But who's a couple people you're uh, excited to see in the Absolute? I mean, big man right over here, Guillermo Braca. Also, uh, El Monstro, Elder Cruz, uh, Rui Alves. There's a ton of people registered for this division. Well, I'm excited to see Mason Fowler also. A bit of a veteran at Brown Belt. Let's get in there. Let's see the action. I'm too blasted now. I can't describe my my emotion. Yes, thanks God. Thanks my my brother. Double gold.